We're absolutely pumped. They uh, they announced this unrestricted championship, and uh, that was the decision for us to come out and have a good play. Tell us a bit more about the car. Uh, mate, the car is probably one of the older cars in the in the category, but um, it's got some new bits under the bonnet, and uh, and I guess we'll see if we can surprise a few people. How is the car performing so far? We're here at the season launch. What's it like? Um, good. I um, I always want more power, but um, from what we can tell so far, it looks like it's, it's going all right, so I'm happy. You want more power? There not the general feeling that there's plenty on tap at the moment? Uh, I think some of these boys got a little bit more than I have, but um, but that's okay. seems that it's, it's level out on the gravel, so it's not too bad. You're not a complete stranger to the Australian Rally Championship. When you look at the entry list and some of the names that you're, you're playing against, you're in for a serious, you know, a serious bid this year, aren't you? Yeah, look, there's, um, it's good to see a lot of the young guys uh, coming up now to the top of the sport. We've been around for 15 years. Um, I've probably got a bit older but um, I think it's going to be a really top season. There is new blood as well. Among them Mark Butcher from Tasmania who steps up to the main game this season after successfully campaigning in the Apple Isle. Mark Butcher comes into service after SS4 with suspension issues. He's on the spanners with the crew for the 20 minute service. Just broken two strut, front strut, oh, man, so, um, Probably not a big job, but it's just a matter of uh, if it's done any other damage that we can't fix. So, yep, we'll uh, keep us busy for a few minutes anyway. Give the boys something to do. Mark Butcher and Warren Philip Clark have a ride on the wild side. A fifth gear spin in the new forest is no picnic. Okay, where was that from? <laughs> Several thousand people have turned out to the industrial estate on the outskirts of Caloundra, the perfect vantage point to witness the slipping and sliding of cars, two-wheel drive and four, among them an Aussie who finds herself in foreign territory. It is very alien to me and I'm getting Rally Driving 101 lessons from everyone I speak to because I've got no idea who's on the track, but we're watching the pro guys right now. And you can actually see the difference in the way they drive, the way they take the corners. And I've got a bit of motoring experience by doing the Celebrity Grand Prix a couple of times, but I have an enormous amount of respect for what these guys do on the track. Driver Skills Australia boss Mark Butcher supports Beachley's charity Aim for the Stars and invited her along to see some rubber being laid. Mark Butcher started this rally slowly. Since WA, the Driver Skills Australia team has fitted a new motor and suspension. With no time for testing, leg one was about settling into the improved performance and handling of the car. Unfortunately, new brake pads caused a problem in leg one, which was rectified by reverting to the original pads. New tyres today, though, have made the task easier. for the most part anyway. No problems for Mark Butcher through the spectator area, but he and Warren Philip Clark are sucked into the long, fast straight soon after. Look, um, just after that spectator point, uh, there's a nice, really long straight, sixth gear, and um, just uh, there was just not a lot of room to pull up for that corner. We hit a bit of a bump too, so it unsettled the car. It was a bit scary, but um, no, I guess, uh, you know, we made it, so we're still here. So we've got 150 to the turn left, 3, 100. So turn left, 3, 100, then jump. 